Today, we will explore the fascinating world of the digestive system, the incredible network responsible for breaking down and absorbing nutrients from the food we consume. The journey of digestion begins in the mouth, where the process of mechanical and chemical digestion initiates. Teeth break down food into smaller pieces, increasing the surface area for enzymes to act upon. Salivary glands secrete saliva that contains enzymes, like amylase, which start breaking down carbohydrates. Once chewed and mixed with saliva, the food forms a soft mass called bolus. The bolus travels down the esophagus, a muscular tube connecting the mouth to the stomach, via a series of coordinated muscular contractions known as peristalsis. Now, let's explore the role of the liver in the digestive process. Though not directly part of the digestive tract, the liver plays a crucial role. It produces bile, a substance that aids in the breakdown and digestion of fats. The bile is stored in the gallbladder before being released into the small intestine. Upon reaching the stomach, the food mixes with gastric juices containing hydrochloric acid and digestive enzymes. This acidic environment further breaks down proteins and kills harmful bacteria, turning the food into a semi-liquid substance known as chyme. While the kidneys are not directly involved in digestion, they play a vital role in filtering waste products and excess substances from the bloodstream, which ultimately contribute to the overall health of our digestive system. Next, the partially digested food enters the large intestine. Here, water and minerals are absorbed and the remaining waste material is formed into feces, ready for elimination. The majority of nutrient absorption occurs in the small intestine. The lining of the small intestine contains tiny finger-like projections called villi and microvilli, which increase the surface area for efficient absorption of nutrients into the bloodstream. As digestion continues, waste products filtered by the kidneys are collected in the bladder. The bladder stores urine until it is expelled from the body during urination, which is an essential part of the excretory system. Lastly, the remaining indigestible waste moves into the rectum, where it is stored until elimination. The anus, the terminal end of the digestive tract, facilitates the expulsion of feces from the body during the process of defecation. In conclusion, the digestive system is a marvel of biological engineering, working tirelessly to extract essential nutrients from the food we eat while effectively eliminating waste. Understanding these parts and their functions empowers us to make healthier choices and appreciate the intricate processes that sustain our bodies. Thank you for your attention, and I hope you found this presentation enlightening.